Hi guys, Andy here. I've got a, uh, a media player app for you today that will basically connect all your devices, kind of turn you, make, give yourself your own little Netflix of your own media, I suppose. You need to first of all download the installer on your computer, then download the app, and then step three, enjoy. Um, so it tells you here, Unity helps with privacy, iTunes, AirPlay, Instagram, GoPro. I'm, to be honest, I only, I've only really used it to share my own media. Um, so first thing to do is to download Unity, save the XE wherever, and then in, go ahead and go ahead and install it. Then head over to Google Play, where the app is free. Get the app installed on your phone, and then just set up as it says in the instructions. And then when you sort of set up, logged into your account, got the app installed, it took a fair old while for my uh, my server to um, cache all of the media that I'd included. Um, so personally, I turned off all of the, can we get to see it? I turned off all the extra bits and I just added a couple of folders with some movies and some TV shows that obviously I legally own, um, but have ripped for the purposes of this. Um, it works over the LAN, peer-to-peer -peer relay. So right now, the server is on the same uh, network as the phone on Wi-Fi. But it does work, so I was away at the weekend, uh, and it does work fine, you know, over the internet. Now, the weird thing, if I go to, I don't know, I don't know what lets it know it's a TV show and what lets it know it's a home video or GoPro and all these kind of things, and I have to go to all, then I would scroll through to whatever show I wanted to wanted to watch. This video has been full transcoded. And then give it a little bit of time. A little bit of more time. It's kind of weird. I'm fairly sure when I was on 4G away at the weekend, it was a bit quicker than this. Maybe it's just a particular... Maybe I shouldn't have opened up a 720p movie. Let's try something else. That's weird. It has, I'm sure it was quicker than that on a fairly... So let's go to elementary. Unless I'm just having some Wi-Fi issues. There we go. So a lot of the time they do say that not fully transcoded when I'm trying to skip. Oh, see that? That appeared to skip a little bit, but it still says not fully transcoded. Um, and that series, so it does, like I say, or like the website says, it does let you connect in. Let's just try another, another movie, a bigger file. So that came up pretty quick. It's a 3D, 3D movie, so it's got the two images. Um, yeah, so I'm not quite sure what was wrong with the first one that I tapped. But as you can see, actually, it's generally, it's pretty quick. Oopsie daisy. But it does seem to have issues with not completely transcoded yet, of skipping into things. So be aware of that. So it does let you connect into, I don't know, your iTunes and stuff like that. Obviously, I haven't even got iTunes. Um, but for me, it's really handy, you know, if if, if I should happen to be using shows, showrss.com and, and a uTorrent particular client, it automatically downloads TV shows I might be waiting for, and I can I can access them from anywhere that I am. You know, even if I went away for a month, I could stay in touch with my, uh, my latest American shows. So there you go. It's Unity. Go to getunity.com to uh, get it all set up. My name's Andy. I'll catch you all again soon.